Final Fantasy XIII-2, the story so far. Kobo? We have to figure out the labyrinth. You'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. This must be the Eclipse. You know what this is? Lightning was fighting in Valhalla. That's where I met her. And that's when she told me to come and find Sarah. I see. Valhalla, otherwise known as the Unseen World. I think Lightning wants us to fix the timeline. Put it back how it was. Maybe that's why she gave me the power to travel through time and control monsters. She was unable to do anything on her own, so she turned to the one person she trusted more than anyone. Yes, it is possible, although the idea raises even more questions. One thing I've been wondering, how do we know the gates actually go to the future? Maybe they're portals to other worlds, different to our own. Yeah. Maybe we just moved between two parallel worlds. One that had an eclipse, and one that didn't. Namely, in another world, a different Alyssa and I are still experiencing that eclipse? And if such is the case, the gates cannot be used to travel to our own future. No. The people of Padra believed that there was only one true history. They taught that the goddess could grant life to a limited number of people. If true, this precludes the possibility of countless alternate worlds, populated by infinite numbers of people. So there's no other world but this one, and only one real history, right? Yes, I believe so. The gates are portals to the future. Noel came from our future, not another world. It's unbelievable the crystal pillar could become so fragile. It was weakened, little by little, over many centuries. The war was simply the straw that broke Cocoon's back. But what does Caius want? No. You know, I started this journey hoping to find my sister. But now, I want more. Save the future. So do I, Sarah. So do I. Time to travel again. Koopal! Find the gate and the key, Koopal! Right now, we don't have a clue where the artifact might be. There are still some places we haven't checked out. You should try asking some of the people around here. They might know something that will help. change the future, can't we? We can, and we will. Then we can go back to homes that we've made safe. Lightning. Thanks to Hope, I can see light at the end of the tunnel. He told us that if we solve the paradox, we can save the future. Meanwhile, in his own way, and in his own time, Hope is working toward the same goal. Together, we can keep Cocoon safe. And if we do, then I know I'll be able to bring you home. I believe this with all my heart.
What the heck is this place? Whoops, wrong turn. Um. I guess if we don't resolve the paradox, this place will stay suspended in limbo. Doesn't look like there are any other gates either. Go back to the Historia Crux, Kupo. Yeah, Mog is right. We should turn back. Kupo! You mean Valhalla? Could lightning be here? No. Something's different. This isn't Valhalla. It looks like it's sure, but it's not the same. This is the rift between gate and gate. It's the void beyond, Kupo. So, are you saying we're lost? Kupo. I need a break. Ah. Finding my sister isn't gonna be easy. We had a legend back home about a goddess. Huh? We hunters passed the story down from father to son. It gave us strength when times were tough. What was it? Never give up, for the goddess Etro watches always and helps those who help themselves. <laughs> it's not much of a legend, really, is it? It sounds more like common sense to me. <laughs> yeah. But when the going gets rough, you don't need anything complicated. Just a reminder to stick things out. Let's just keep telling ourselves that every time we go through a gate, we're getting closer to lightning. Sound good? Come on! <laughs> Sounds good. This place seems weird enough. How is it different from Valhalla? The void is simply a shadow of Valhalla. It's a space that connects the gate's entrance and exit, Koopa. Let's go check it out. No good. We can't get past. frozen in crystal. At the same time Noel and Sarah appear in the ruins, the invisible giant begins to run amok. Urged on by a young trainee called Alyssa, the pair manage to bring the giant's rampage to a halt. Along the way, they learn that many people lost their lives in these ruins, and that Alyssa is one of the survivors who still bears the scars from that terrible time. Sarah, Ridley or Romley, blames herself for the deaths, and she can only look on, racked in guilt, as Alyssa mourns at the grave of her friend. did it. Uh -huh. 
tell me you're having visions. Oh, no. Just staring into space. Hmm. Oh, okay then. Let's get going. Okay. As upheavals transform the world of man, nature tirelessly weaves her tapestry. The sunlit waterscape survives amidst the decaying cities of Cocoon. This was once a protected wilderness zone, and even without the Falsy Overseers, the landscape flourishes. Yet amidst the teeming growth, the seeds of destruction are being quietly sown. Twist of the knife. The joy is ephemeral. It leaves fear in its wake. A fear that all too soon the time will come when you must bid farewell again. Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Humanity's great frailty. We prefer past happiness to future uncertainty. This is what the end of the world looks like. Are they going to destroy the planet? I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. Which means there must be a way to stop them. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? The daughters of the Sundered Cocoon are sacrificed to beasts of time itself. The pillar crumbles to ash and sand and down to earth. The cocoon does fall. What? What? Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Was it a vision? Does Sarah have the same power as you? Wow. That is one gigantic monster.
won't stay dead. Let's go. Yeah, we'll hit it hard while it's down, you know. I mean, we get out of here. Look, that way. Well, aren't Snow? Let's oh, go. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Listen, hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes you gotta make a stand. You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. You got a name? Coppo. Uh, uh, this is Noel. And this is Snow. And we're getting married. It's on hold for now. Uh. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Koopa! Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? <sighs> you really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanille and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar. So she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you gotta make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. Search on hold for a spell. Right now it's Fang and Vanille who really need our help. And if the pillar continues to be damaged like this, Cocoon will start to wobble and shake. We have to do something about that flan. Hope told us to try and protect Cocoon. I think that's what my sister would want too. None of this makes sense. There are thousands of flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox? If it is, we'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. But it's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with Snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. So, no. You haven't told me why you're traveling through time. Long story short, I'm trying to save humanity. Save humanity? Why? What happens to us? 
I lived at the end of days. I've seen how we end. And I'm the only one who can change it. Hey, this is where the Fran we're trying to get to. And there's our artifact. <sighs> this is Crystal 2. Huh. I've seen crystals like this before. Right, Sarah? You remember, don't you? I remember I cried a crystal tear. Yeah. Sarah, you know what it's like, don't you? Being turned into crystal. Yes, I know. It was the loneliest, scariest moment of my life. Sarah, I... It's all right. You know, I think I dreamed the whole time. But they were good dreams. Dreams about turning back to normal. Being with my friends again. Purple? <laughs> I hope that's true. I hope Fang and Vanille are dreaming right now. I hope they're happy in there. Fang and Vanille, they were friends of yours? And now they're sleeping inside that crystal pillar? Yeah. They've turned to crystal. End of the road. We have to turn back. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> no way we can take that. <laughs> hey! Over here! Don't encourage it! Hey, big guy, we need to get through this valley. Mind giving us a ride? Um, I don't think it hurts you. No answer. Guess I'll take that as a yes. It'll swallow you whole. <laughs> well, let's find Wait, out. No. <laughs> ah, bouncy. Is it? I don't think so. I think he actually likes it. Yeah, he just had an itch that needed scratching. Come aboard. Help me out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Search radius. Sarah, please! Save Mom, Kubo! Good luck! I think he's in a good mood. Maybe he's looking forward to the free lunch. No worries. If he does attack, he'll think of something. How have you even survived this one? This one goes. Okie dokie. Let's check out the future. Not you. Uh, say what? For every road, there is a different gate. Somehow, I don't think this one's yours. Wait, you mean Snow can't go through? Just watch me. Snow? No. Uh, are you okay? Ouch. Okay, not my gate. I can take a hint. Guess I'm staying here then. Hmm. Don't do anything I would. You take care. I will. You're the one who's got to look after himself. We won't be here to bail you out next time. So don't go chasing any more monsters, you hear? So, we mean it. No heroics, okay? 
Catch you later. You know who Rolex are.